Hi, it's James Mitchell. Welcome to this video on Workshop Software. Really hope you like it and get some great value. Thanks for watching. Hi and welcome to this tutorial video on workshop software which covers products and the different types of t categories or types that products can belong to and what that means to you. So if I go into the products and I'm just going to search for any particular product and I just happen to be choosing a labor but the product doesn't really matter. Uh, what we're going to cover off today is what this type means. So there are half a dozen different types of products in the system and they do varying different things and they're there for different purposes. So let's explain that. So first up you've got uh, labor and labor is where you go off and do actual labor work. So it doesn't typically st store a quantity um, and it's for you to actually do different types of labor. You can set up individual pieces of labor and put comments against them, that sort of thing. And it will also get reported uh, differently from the other types of products as well. You've also got stock. You might notice too that the layout here changes slightly if I change it from stock to labor. So you notice that some of the fields change uh, depending on what type it is. And so stock is products that you buy and sell and you, they're typically physical products. You've also got a sublet, which is where you go and sublet it to another workshop. So you might get somebody to do work outside of your workshop. So say a radiator replacement, maybe a windscreen repair, something like that. Consumable is typically a item that you keep in stock such as uh, oils and rags. Um, it could be things that you do in bulk like oils and greases and so on that you might buy in, in drums and maybe sell by the leader for example. Uh, it doesn't have to be, they can be any type of uh, product. And accessories are, let's say for argument's sake, you're a motorcycle supplier. Uh, you might sell, say, helmets and leather jackets and so on, and you might classify them as accessories as opposed to stock, which might be actual mechanical products. So you can split uh, mechanical products from your accessory style products. Uh, that's very similar to, say, a four-wheel drive business who might have four-wheel drive accessories and then four-wheel drive hard parts or actual mechanical parts, which they would refer to as stock. Also have tires so that you can separate tires. You can get reporting on all of these different types, which is really cool. And you can also get this split up in the general ledger. So let's go and take a look at those other settings. Okay, so if we go into integrations and if we scroll down and in this instance, I happen to be integrated with QuickBooks. The same applies for any integration that I've got. So it doesn't matter whether I'm integrated with MYAB, with Sage, with Xero, with QuickBooks, any of the accounting packages, this basically works all the same. So what happens is, is you've got your labor, stock, consumables, accessories, and tires and sublets all split up into different general ledger accounts, or they have the option of going into different general ledger accounts if you wanted to report them differently in your general ledger. So in this instance, I've actually got them all set up to go into sales because we've just got that as the default, uh, as a, a very basic setup for QuickBooks. But let's go into QuickBooks and we're gonna go and add a new account and then I'm gonna show you what happens. So I'm gonna, I wanna split up tires and have tires go into a specific general ledger account. Let's go and check that out. Okay, so I just jumped into QuickBooks and if we go under accounting, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a new account. I'm not suggesting you need to add a new account, but if you've got, if you wanna make it a new account, then that's entirely up to you. So we're gonna put this into the income category. Um, we're gonna call it sales of tires and we're going to put this into sales retail and we're just gonna call it sales of tires. I'm gonna save this and close. And so that transaction or that account has been created. So now if I jump back into workshop software, what you'll find is if you simply refresh the screen and then if we drop down this box, you'll see that there's this new account in here. So if we choose sales of tires, now that means that the tires have gone into, or when I do a transaction of a product that is a tire, will go into that particular account in QuickBooks. So you can see that that's pretty straightforward. Uh, so it gives you that extra level of reporting that you need and uh, away you go. There is also another way that we can do this and I'm going to just jump into that now and show you how that's done. 
So what we can also do, let's say for argument's sake you wanted to split that up even further and take labor and you wanted to have that go into two different accounts. So what I can do is if we go into products, I'm just gonna pull up uh, our labor products. And so this instance, this is let's say our normal labor and then I've got special labor. You can make these items whatever you want, that's entirely up to you. But you'll notice here that I've actually put this into a group called labor special. Uh, so this means that let's say you had mechanical labor and then you had some other type of labor and you wanted to split them up in your workshop, this is how you do it. So if we then, I've put this into this special group and then what I can do is under settings and under company lists is where all the product groups are kept. So if we scroll down, they're actually down the bottom here, and you'll see that there's this labor special. If I edit that, what I can do is this account is the general ledger account that that goes to. So what I can do is add, allocate that to the sales of special labor, click on save, and then that gets saved. So now, whenever any product that's in that particular group gets sold, the sale of that will go into that particular general ledger account, in this case in QuickBooks. Like I say, the same works in Zero or Sage or MYOB. All the accounting integrations work the same way. So that allows you to split that up into those different types.